Greetings and welcome back to Mashunki. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am pleased to come back to the game. We have, in the last episode, created a very vibrant uh, train network, even though it's a little bit small, uh, but we're going to get to the complications soon. But this uh, passenger train network right now is going to give us the money we need to expand our network so we can get other materials and move forward. Right, so I have been scouting the map and I have found a prime area for um, making lumber and lumber tokens. Um, so there's a difference between between just regular, um, uh, well, there's a production chain. Here we are. We need to take the, the wood from forests and those go to a sawmill. And the sawmill, as you can see by the icon here, converts three wood into two planks. Now the planks need to go to the tool works. Now these are very, very special buildings on the map, which create our tokens for us. Um, and as you can see, they this one converts three planks into one token uh one plank token and then four coal into one coal token now we have none of these lovely tokens at our disposal we do have a quest however uh jack tamiel the sales representative um says let me introduce myself i'm jack tamiel lmbr deputy company uh deputy co company I don't know. Anyway, our company plans to invest in the de development of local industry. That's why I contacted you. First, we need to deliver logs to our sawmills. Forests are everywhere around us, so there should be no problem finding them. If you succeed, we will pay you well and we might have more work for you. Right, so deliver 100 logs into any sawmill. I love these ones where it is about you know anything um so you don't have to be locked into a certain place uh, and the reward is 100 money which is good um so this is a lovely lovely area because we can have a centralized sawmill and um and then bring logs from here and there and there's down here and have a line from here this is going to be a bustling station which really appeals to me because i love the the, the whole building aspect of this um after that the the uh planks can then go to the tool works which is super close by <laughs> it is ridiculously close by i'm very excited about the closeness of this we may even just have a very short line here with a couple of trains and call that good uh this is really looking fantastic i like the positioning here of this quite lucky that we have that later we'll also use these uh uh, tool works to make uh, steel in the next era and then there's going to be more products after that I assume we don't know because we only have the two eras in this alpha build um, but there's plenty to do I assure you um, right so this is really good now why do we want to have one centralized sawmill well we don't have to we can take it to any sawmill and indeed if you have um, you know you can have one or two um, forests leading to one sawmill but remember last time I was talking about the extensions. So if we go to the sawmill, we can buy extensions here for employee quarters. There's a toy shop where we can convert the logs to money if we have too many. We can get the storage, which is again, more production, more production, more production. All of these cost resources. So ideally, if we have a large uh, production thing, we wanna use our resources efficiently and um, not build extensions all over the place. Just have them at one centralized facility. Right, so um, let's get building this thing. First of all, we're gonna need, oh my goodness. Um, pardon my cat. <laughs> I think Eleonora was trying to play with Maggie and, and Maggie uh, didn't want to play and so therefore kind of left. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Um, but nobody nobody had a cat fight. They just sort of have a disagreement and then they walk off. They're very civilized peoples. Right. So um, I wanna, I'm thinking about having... We're going to have a north line getting these guys probably. Probably from the left side of this station. Um, and then we can have a line going southward to this... And also notice there's coal out here as well. So I want to find a way to join these networks of, uh, of trains together and, uh, and get the coal to the, the tool works as well. So we're going to try and, and get that sorted out. Um, and then we'll have a line going this way. I think I might even want to build this Eastern line first, just because it's very clear cut uh, and, and we'll get things going easily that way. Uh, right, so let's start off by building a larger station. I want to make sure we have um, probably just flatten this landscape. Uh, 
Uh, here's the tool works. The tool works is on, wow, it's on the highest plateau here. So I'm thinking, let's see. I think we'll, we'll flatten it to this level instead. Or we could go middle, the middle level. That's another option as well. I think maybe we'll go middle level. Now you can use tunnels in this game. Uh, however, we're going to have a large track works in this whole area. So I'm, I'm just going to flatten this a little bit because I, I just want to have some space to move around and build all of the things that we need to build at the moment. There we go. Square that off just a little bit. And um, right, so we're going to put our station, let's put it here uh, and make sure the catchment area overlaps the sawmill. Let's put it a little bit be here. Yeah, that should be good. All right. So I want to have one station going northward to to process deliveries from here. We don't want to have all of the logs going into the same station thing just because it'll get overloaded. Now the middle one is going to go to the tool works. I decided that. Now the lower one, we want to have it going this way. In fact, you know, I could... I could move all of these over slightly um, by like two squares. Let's move them by two squares. I think that's fine. Just so it's not so close to the tool works um, place. Right, uh, right, there we go. Cause only this one is going to the right for now. So that's just fine. I, I kept thinking, oh yeah, I need space for that one to go, but it doesn't. All right, I'm gonna turn this on the slowest speed so we still get money because we might need a lot of money uh, as it happens. Uh, for this. Okay, I think from here I want to make a kind of flatten this area out a bit. There we go. <clears throat> because remember we're getting gonna get some logs from here to go up that way <clears throat> at some point. I want to do a I want to have at least two wide going this way and make sure there's a little bit of a flat there. What is this? Oh, this is just different. No, no, it is actually funky. Right. Okay, there we go. I like how you can easily see this in isometric view. Pretty handy. Oh, wow, that's not a mountain. This one is over there. Wow. Okay, that's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, now the, the question is, is this going to be a big enough thing that I need a parking lot? Um, maybe. Do I, do I really need one? Is there a lot of other resources here? Oh wow, there's another uh, logging place here. And there's more down here. Hmm. Now I'm thinking, should I do a parking lot or should I just have them wait on the main line? You know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, I think for now, let's let them wait on the main line. Um, yeah, I think that's probably best. Oopsies. Let's get this one removed and put this properly curved. I should have done that in the first place. Okay, and so we now have our in and out lines. Ah, uh, wow. All right, we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to figure this out. How far we want to go, and how we want to maybe do the parallel lines going this way thinking like maybe on this second level plateau here kind of like this and then have a parallel line with this that's what I'm thinking um, you know it's it's quite a challenge and, and a puzzle to get all of this stuff going but this is what I really loved about uh, some of the older games in the genre like Transport Tycoon and stuff is that you have to consider all of these um, all of these things when you're building because it's important okay so at the moment we do not need any more uh, diagonal tracks for now I might even just do a single line out to this one uh, because these I might add later and I just want to have you know single single thing for now because we don't have a lot of money we have 304 uh, money right now dollars uh, and that's not a lot that's really really not a lot um, I might have to turn the simulation faster so that I can, uh, cause this is quite an ambitious first project, uh, to get this lumber going, uh, at the moment. So we need to just be careful of our money. Um, and hopefully our trains there will just, all right, 
we're gonna just take this quite quite carefully out there we go and not not spend all the money at once right can we go this way yes we can all right I'm gonna be a cheapskate right now and just do this later we might just like raise the level of the land so there's not so much grade because you know the trains do slow down on a graded area or a high grade area for sure that's gonna be out this is gonna be in we're using right hand drive system um, so since our, our stations are six squares long right now I'm gonna just do signals every six squares because we are gonna have trains lining up here so one two three four five six I don't know uh, the diagonals probably count so let's give it a little room put that one there and then we'll do another six one two three four five six ish like that all right that's that you know, whoopsies there we go you can put them to the slight right or left of the track. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I don't know if that's right or not. It's hard to count on these diagonals. Um, it's probably too many, way too many, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Um, now, the easiest way to get this <clears throat> forest is probably going to be a line just this way. So I want to... I would like to lower the ground such that we can have the station up to two squares away. Um, so let's just get that organized. I don't know how how steep tiles can be. I really don't. I have no idea. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Looking very good indeed. Um, this one, I think we're gonna lower that to this, please. And then this one lower to that and then we do need to have a flat here but this is looking pretty good that's one two three four five so we need another square to make that six for our our maximum station length at this point that we can have okay and then let's connect it up to the line <clears throat> oh these signals are actually ending up there perfectly fantastic uh, right and I think we do want to put one here to make this a separate block from this line there. And we'll put one signal here for waiting up when it goes up to the station and separate this from the rest of the track uh, with the blocks. Right, so we have the forest. It is now accumulating wood. Um, so we need to get this in here. Now, I think the hardest part of this is going to be putting trains on the line um, whereby we need to make a depot and I think I'm gonna put it at the end of the station here uh, right okay I'm gonna have to get some terraforming done here it's gonna be here oh god I forgot where it was gonna be shoot um, the other thing is I I don't want to put it right directly in front of the station which I could do technically I mean I could just shove it here if I wanted to but I want this to serve as all of these tracks so so as we come out of the depot we're gonna make sure that we have um, the way to get back home on the schedule to their to their home station essentially um, is that enough I don't know. I really don't want to spend too much money. <laughs> I'm worried about it. Right. Okay. Here we go. There we are. Depot three near Leeds. Okay. Let's get our train out. Uh, we're again going to buy a porter because we don't have any lumber tokens just yet, but soon, soon. Uh, another cool thing about the car thing is that these are these are filters. So if you click on uh, lumber, you get the lumber car. We actually want logs, which I. I just inadvertently clicked on lumber but you can see all of the things that are for each type this is really handy when we get more cars in and there are more choices to deal with all right so we're gonna get the Studinger and get maybe I don't know how many um, yeah, maybe one two three four five six six sounds good um, just kind of a random number of stuffs uh, right now we're going to start this out of the depot for now and so we're going to choose a waypoint here and we're going to choose then the waypoint to go up here. Now you need to be clear when you set your waypoints. 
Um, because if you just say click here, the train doesn't know if it's supposed to be going backward or forward or whatever. So make sure you set the waypoint on a clear section of track where it's like, aha, this is really where I want to go. Um, and I also don't want it to get confused and go the other way. So let's also click on the station where we're going to go for a full load. It's going to wait here for the full load. And then we're going to go out. And I just want to be careful with this and say, aha, go to this track here, please. And then it's going to go into the station. So let's go and click the station and we're going to empty. So we're going to unload there at the station. All right, let's go start. Okay, here we go. Now, the other thing about stuff that you need to be aware of, let's just move this menu down here right now, is, uh, oh, we don't have any of those engines yet. Aha, well, the operating cost is also listed down here. Uh, and this one, the Porter costs one gold per, I think it's per month, and the Baldwin costs two. We're not gold, it's money. <laughs> Dollars, whatever you want to call it. We all know what it is. Um, anyway, some of them cost coal to run and maybe other fuel types as well as we get further into the future. But keep keep aware of that. Make sure that you know that that is the case. Um, because if you don't have any coal production and you run out of coal, coal tokens, then uh, your trains will go slower, much slower. So um, that's something to keep in mind as you do stuff. It, it, same thing if you run out of money to operate your trains, your trains will also go very much slower. Right, so here we go. We're going in this landscape. I think it's just gorgeous. This is such a, like a raw, uh, dynamic looking landscape. And I love the seasons. Um, we're in February at the moment, so it's kind of like early springtime. But in the winter, the trees lose their leaves. There's snow on the ground. It's very, very, very beautiful. So, all right, let's go and follow this train up to its station. Another cool animation that is in here is the loading. It doesn't just top off with wood right there. Um, it actually loads progressively, and we'll watch that in just a second. Okay, there we are. Right next to the forest. Here we go. Does the train fit on this platform? Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. Very cool easily fits and we'll watch the train get loaded here with logs there we go see, let me see if I can can't change the camera angle there but yeah you can see it filling up um, quite nicely and it's gonna go to its destination soon uh, what, what do you have 32 of 42 okay so it's not filled uh, filled up just yet we're gonna have to wait a little while for that okay should we build here Probably we should just finish this production chain for now. Uh, we want to go to, let me get this Toolworks, uh, having a, um, a station. Pardon me, I had to start restart my mouse there. Um, right, so let's see where we got. Okay, we have our station little crush here. Should I make it the higher level up? I'm kind of tempted to, to be honest. Uh, it'll help it get around this town a bit. Um, let's leave it. Mm. Ah, but it'll be a pain in the socks otherwise. This is this could actually be in line, couldn't it? Yeah, very much so. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna not gonna waste this square. I'm going to take this out this way. This is another reason why I really wanted to start a game with kind of a medium or a low frequency of industries and stuff because there isn't sometimes a lot of room between towns at the most lucrative locations. So I think it's kind of important to, to get that going. Right, so we're gonna have our two stations here. And I think that'll be perfect for now. Now, this one, I wanna use this lower one for this coal. Uh, coming in from here um, and I think oh that's all there is okay there might be some others but anyway um, and then the middle one I think could be good to connect to that middle one. Oh, there's my my biter Maggie <laughs> no, she's not a biter she's a sweet girl um, but anyway she's sort of calling the wild probably calling for pizza no idea um, Ooh. Okay, that's not ideal. This so this is definitely not ideal. I should I should 
do something with this. I should make this like this, maybe. We need two two squares at the least. E. Okay, that's fine. We'll get it sorted. I'm just trying to spend a minimal amount of money. That's where I'm kind of like um, struggling with this. Let's see, can we go that way? Yes, we can. Ah, oh, that's perfect, right. Because you can't have um, these curves on a slope, which is important to note. Okay, and this is perfect just for like two trains. <laughs> I don't think we'll need more than two trains. So let's actually, let's move that up the closest it can be. Remove the signal with this little tool here. Right, okay, that's good. And then here again, we are perfect. Now. I think we may need to move that signal actually now that I'm thinking about it um, let's see let's remove that signal and get this <clears throat> going that way and then this also we need to go this way just to connect up to this depot <laughs> Now, we don't have to be afraid of the depot because once a train enters the depot, there's like, you can imagine there's a signal inside there. So it's, own, it's in its own block, essentially. So that's not a worry for us at all. However, if a train is on this track, we're gonna need a signal there Just because this whole thing right now is one block. So we wanna put a signal there, take that off of that block, and leave this signal going there. Um, and I think let's have one more signal here just to kind of tell trains, yo, you can't go that away. It's kind of like a one way sign in case any trains get lost. We may have to change this again as we connect it to the third. You know what? Let's just connect it to the third one right now. Um, and with this, we're going to need to create station waypoints as well um, as these things are connecting closer to each other. All right, so let's connect this guy there like that and get our signals for this one there. And we need to, oh, wow, this is going to be an interesting mess. Isn't it? Right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, <laughs> so we need one for sure here. Um, so this is one long thing that goes that way, I think. Yeah, this is one giant block at the moment, which is not great, but I think it'll be fine. Generally, if we need to, we can always take out this depot and just do a more, um, just do a depot on each line or something like that, or to make it easier, maybe one on this end or something like that. Um, I think this should work okay, so long as there's not a lot of trains in the depot and moving back and forth, but otherwise the, the lines are separated at the moment. Okay. I think we're good with this. Let's go to the depot, get another porter, and then we're gonna get our lumber. Look at this, we've got lumber stacking up over here. Uh, let's choose the lumber icon and choose the, the wrong hoffer. I hope that's reasonably correct spelling or pronunciation. One, two, three, four, five, um, and we'll do six, because why not? We don't need to waste um, materials. We're gonna have you go to now this is important. We want to have this one go to this waypoint here. Make sure it goes into this branch for this particular station. Now we're going to go here to the station, fill up, and then I want to specify it to go this way, please. All right, and then we're going to go to station six and unload. Right, and then we're going to go this way. Um, and then again, loops back to waypoint one again over there. Okay, I think that's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, so go ahead and start, little train. Let's get you going. Let's get this lumber moving. Here's train four. Ride into the stage. Oh, this is so cool, look at this. You can see the inside of the building. <laughs> it's wonderful. I forgot to take you guys on a walk through. Oh, this is good. All right all these train tracks. Fantastic. You can also move uh, to different cars on the train if you like. You can go to the left or right side of the train, uh, whichever you prefer, uh, and check it out. Just have fun, move up the cars here until you're in the engine. Very cool. 
Alright. So let's get out of this. Oh, and you can uh, You can honk the horn. <laughs> That's lovely. Alright, so there we go. Uh, right, so now this is filling up with lumber. And um, how are we doing with this? 28 of 42. I'm going to have it go to the next uh, location because I want you guys to see how we create these lumber tokens. So we're just going to use the, uh, the skip button to go to station six. Let's go ahead and follow the train there and I'll turn the speed a little bit up um, and we can go down the landscape to our next destination. All right, which is the lumber mill. All right, let's get out of this. And you'll see this stuff leaping right into the tool works. And this is giving us lumber tokens. Um, now it does process X amount per, per second or per minute or however they, they're measuring it, but it doesn't go all at once. So we're gonna have to wait for production. And it, as it says, it, produ it takes three in and produces one from that. So we now have eight lumber tokens. Uh, we're getting we're getting there. We're, we're making some stuff, but we desperately need a lot more. Um, oh, there's another train delivered lumber. So this is going to have to process. The station currently has 36 wood and it's processing. Stuff is going in and out, as you can see. So um, our trains are, we now have a nice little system going. But remember, um, I said last time that um, these guys don't make any money. We're not generating any money off of this. So it's important that we have our passenger lines going um, so that we can generate money to pay for the train um, maintenance money, basically. So let's go back to our money area. <laughs> our money area. Yes, this is the place that produces money, like in a factory, right? <laughs> Station 2 has 36 passengers here. Um, that's pretty cool. What I'd love to do, this one catches all the passengers from Newcastle upon Tyne and uh, Solihull. So I'd love to buy a um, an extension for this called the Bistro. It has capacity plus 50% and income plus 25%. But it's going to cost us 100 lumber tokens. So that's a lot. It's like, no, too, too much. Um, not too much, but we'll generate it over time. But the important thing is to kind of keep building up these industries and stuff like this. Oh, we get money. Oh, we get stuff. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. All right. Now, one note about the eras is, okay, we're in the... Um, uh, I think, I don't know if this is, I think this is the age we're in, maybe, or is this the next age? I don't know. But the thing about it is, is you can get to the next age and therefore more products, uh, different engines, different cars, but you need to invest some of your resources and it's going to cost a hundred wood planks and a hundred coal tokens or not planks, but plank tokens and the coal tokens to get to that next age early. Alternatively, right now we're in 1923 um, and then the next age is going to start in um, July 1st, uh, 1930. So we could wait it out if we wanted to. Uh, so we always have the option for that. I think we should start generating coal tokens though. I think that's kind of important. Um, so we're going to build... Um, I want to sneak a line in through here. Is there any other coal down here? There might be. There might be more coal. Uh, later because as you progress through the eras different buildings appear industries will leap up onto the map so it's kind of um, you know that's significant all right I think I would like to have two separate stations for the coal mine and for the woodworks um, or alternatively we could have a a parking single parking lot that will take care of both but they're kind of interestingly arranged here um, I could build this here and then build like a freight depot maybe to extend the range. Yeah, I could, I could do that. Sounds okay. That sounds reasonable. Let's just do that. We'll start getting into the more complicated track arranging with this, um, and start kind of building. I don't know if you guys watch my Factorio series, you'll, you'll know, I, I do a lot of train parking lots and other things, um, to make things work very well. And it's the same concept here. And in fact, that's where I learned how to do uh, train stuff is in games like Transport Tycoon and things like that. So, all right, so we're gonna have two stations here. Okay. And I, I don't know 
don't know if we're going to need, I don't think we're going to need parking for either of them. They're just going to come in here, but I want to have two separate stations. So in case they're waiting for coal or waiting for wood, they can each wait at the same time instead of being uh, one having to wait for the other because they are going to produce at different rates um, depending on what upgrades that we give them through the extension system. But we do need to get uh, some kind of extension for the station. Uh, the freight station. Yeah, we need that. Or, or we could go cheap and get the waiting room. <laughs> Let's do that. Not that we need a passenger waiting room. Um, Let's sneak it in right there. But it, it, it does extend the station for us without having to spend any of our precious uh, lumber tokens. I, I like this idea. <laughs> right. So now I want to build a parallel track system that's going to kind of intersect probably this one here. Um, yeah, because we're going to get the wood there. But also it's going to branch off this way to get the tools. I think I'd like to... Let's lower the landscape here to this lower level. Um, let's see, like, no, not, not, not that way. This way, there we go. Gotta choose the right one. And we're gonna have this going down and we need a three square turning radius at the very least. So this one here, and that one there, we're gonna change, and I'm just trying to be very frugal with the money. If not, I would just be kind of like all over the place getting these guys downward. Right, so let's get this going here. And we're gonna, we're using right hand drive here. Oopsies. Oh, you know what? I, <laughs> it's one, one too far away. Um, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's not important. Uh, right, so we're gonna get this signal here. This one there. Um, this is gonna be our right drive signal there. That one goes there. Um, and also, these are also one way this way. Uh, right, okay, so that we have this nice little track system. I think, right, I want to make a turn here. Okay, that one's going that way. Okay. And we're gonna have, oh, and we only need one entrance, right? Because we only need one train of each. But we can specify them with waypoints, which uh, platform of the station to go on. All right, I think we're just gonna do something quite simple. Um, this is gonna go this way. And we need to just look at the turning radius of this thing. Okay, we wanna go maybe this square here, like that. All right, let's get our terrain sorted out. Oh, what's going on here? Collect your reward for the logs. Hey, thanks very much. All right, deliver 200 units of timber to any tool works. Right, we're gonna get some timber or some uh, some lumber tokens for that. That's exciting. I like that. Uh, right, so man, oh man, this is gonna be expensive. No. That goes that way. I think that should be fine-ish. Let's see if that works for us. There we go. That's perfect. And then this one needs to come this way. We can get this. And by the way, when you delete stuff, you do actually get money back, which is nice. Uh, so if you make a mistake, it's all it's all fine and good. It's just fine. Okay, we're gonna get this going on here and signal there. And of course, a signal before the stations just to close off the block there. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, right, so we're gonna have this this way. Now, to intersect these things. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to have kind of like a why thing going on here. Um, do we care right now whether it is, um, oh wow, there's a lot of coal down there too. That might be worth getting. Um, do we care if the tracks cross? We, we might care if the lines are very heavily traveled. This line is gonna have at least one or two more trains. How much is waiting here? No, this one right now is not at high enough production level, but at some point we might. I think we should just go right now for simple train crossings um, to get these things going along here. Or we don't have to, we could, we could do sneakier things. You know what, we might do sneakier things as a matter of fact. Um, I think I should replace this whole area with um, just flatness. 
Okay, so let's just clear this out. And here KOS says we are <laughs> we're saving money. Uh-huh, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Uh right, is that all? Yeah, it's all good. Right. I think, yeah, let's just kind of curve this around that way. And this will be easier for us to get stuff done. Okay, now I need to figure out how high exactly this is. Because what I'm thinking about doing is having a tunnel through here to go to that station with the lumber. Um, like starting out this way. You can build tunnels, um, but not on the diagonal. You can only build them like straight, like this way. But the cool thing is, is that they can adjust the elevation. So um, that's pretty exciting to me. Let me get our in fact. It could go from here to there, couldn't it? it? Could just go like this. Wrong track crossing. Okay, so there's not enough underground here to make for that to work. Does this work? No. Okay, it needs several squares obviously to adjust elevation, but I think I'm better off just using this one here, um, like this. Oh, that's delightful. Isn't that lovely? Let's just change this a little bit to make a much better kind of entrance for this. Yeah, right. We're gonna make this also level. This is gonna be great. I'm liking this already. Right, so let's get our tunnel going on from say here to there. Does that work? Oh, it does work. Look at that, how delicious that is. Stone tunnel, um, top speed 100 miles an hour. I think the devs are working on these miles per hour right now, so that's not necessarily uh, the way it's working, but it is going to be fixed, of course. Well, there's a little bit of clipping here, looks like, at the edge of this tunnel, but I am sure that the graphical glitches are also um, working on being fixed. I have to say, I've been um, a member of the, the testing Discord for this, and the devs are so, so passionate about their game, and they are, like, working wildly to, to fix any bugs that people have been reporting. They're they're really awesome about doing that sort of thing. It's, to, it's nice to see you know developers that are so um, interested in their game and, and uh, want to make it a success and want to make it fun to play for everybody okay so let's get this going because I need to have that turning radius I think we'll delete this maybe we'll see right okay nice okay so now we're having an underpass so this is not going to interfere with any of these things going on there which makes me quite happy um and i think we'll just add this there like this we'll get ourselves a couple of um signals there we're gonna have uh, signals after the tunnel. You cannot put signals within the tunnel um, for obvious reasons, but uh, we wanna make that as small a block as possible, generally. Okay, let's just take this out here. And um, let me go there as well. Okay, so we have one entrance and we need to do the exit for this as well. Um, we can go from over overland, that's not a problem at all. Um, because we don't need to have an underpass going from here to there. All right, so let's go and build ourselves a do do do. Change the terrain here a little bit just to make this consistent. Right here with that. Let's find an easy way up. Looks like this is a fairly easy way up. Can we there though? Let's see. We can there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we can just do that. I like that idea. Okay, there's a an issue with the signal though. That's the only problem with that. Can I can I do that? Does that connect? It does connect. Okay. I was kind of looking at it differently, I guess. Is this a weird mountainy thing? It is a weird mountainy thing. I think I'll flatten that just slightly. <laughs> I remember though, like having, I, I loved mountain peaks, like when I played Transport Tycoon. And so I would build these like toy train areas where I just build this highest mountain that I could because I loved watching the trains go up and down the mountains. I thought it was just charming. So anyway, it's a little bit of KOS history of 
um, traversing mountains um, <laughs> while in the train simulators. All right, this is cool. Look at this. This is what another thing I love about this game. The terrain does not have to be perfect. The game compensates for funny little things like that, uh, which is fantastic because I remember that was one of the things that drove me crazy um, in, in Transport Tycoon and other games sometimes. Right, so let's get... Oh, no, no, no. The other way, please. Uh, I'm clicking on the wrong side, I think. Nope. There we go. Boom. Uh, is this connected? No, this is not connected because it's... Uh, and you can see this very clearly. There's a there's a uh, stop over here. So we need to remove this signal uh, and get this sorted out. Oops, I should have used the remove tool instead. I just made a mess of it. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay, great. So let's get our signals on here and we'll move this one up, I think. Just get rid of that one. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Right, so we could use another signal in the middle here. There we are. Okay, and this is going quite beautifully this way. We can now deliver more logs here, which I think we're going to do at the moment. Um, this depot, three near leads, will provide us with our train. So let's go and click that. Right, engine, go to the porter, please. And we're gonna do, I think, six wagons of, of uh, lumber. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and let's give you some orders, dude. Uh, let's go this way. We need to basically make sure that it's going along the right branch, okay? Uh, next one, you're gonna come off of here, go to that one. And the way we're gonna choose a station platform, I think we'll have lumber, on the closest one to the forest and then we'll have coal on the far side um, so we're going to choose to go on this track here so it's going to wait in this station uh, and as you see the, the station is collecting goods from both okay we'll go to the station fill up please and then have you go here and then this one will go this way and of course keep on going here Oh, the trains are going. They're just going really slowly. I don't know if that's because of the game speed or I should check this in just a second after I finish doing this um, stuff. All right, so go here to this station, please, and unload. And then waypoint one is right here, so it's already ready to go. And we'll say go, please. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? Oh my God, look at how bad I am. Oh, no, I messed up the signal. Right. Okay, train three. Don't worry. It's okay. All right, let's put the speed up faster. Make sure that it can go the way it wants to go. There you go, little train. It's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay, so that one, yeah, they do get messed up if you mess up your signals. So make sure that they're going the right way. One of the things I like about the signaling in this game is that you can see very clearly what the signal reads. I know in other games that we've had, it's just been like you have to look at the tiny little graphic or zoom in really close to see what it is, um, but not so here. You can see, aha, this one is red, that one is red, these are green, and it's really helpful when trying to diagnose problems in your train network. Like for example, we already know there's a train sitting here because there's the, the red arrow over there. Okay, very cool. Let's see. Um, we're going to have to monitor this forest and see if it starts building up a lot of lumber. Right now we have um, 54 lumber, but remember it's been building up while we've been trying to connect uh, these stations together here. Okay, there's a delivery of timber. That's the one that we started, right? and subsidy progress five of six trains. All right, the Ministry of Industry and Trade is offering subsidies for medium-sized companies to grow. Right now we're too small to get it. We have to own at least six trains. Otherwise, we'll just, they'll think we're just a few people in a cupboard. <laughs> That's funny, I like it. So um, yeah, we wanna own at least six trains. Um, so we're gonna get that very shortly when we make the one for coal. All right, so it looks like train five. Wow, already delivered the uh, the lumber or the logs. And uh, wow, okay, so we might uh, start seeing some buildup at the sawmill, which means we're gonna need to upgrade it a little bit. We're just checking here. Okay, there it goes. Oh, and we have a delivery of coal mission. All right, 
I'm a very busy man. I don't have time to mess around. The demand for coal from Toolworks is increasing. I have a number of mines which, with rich seams. I want you to transport it to them as quickly as possible. I don't care how you do it. You won't regret it. Get on with it. He muttered something and left. Okay, sounds nice. Um, deliver 200 units of coal to any Toolworks. Sounds good. Deforestation. This is a sort of an optional mission, I think. It has a yellow tag on it. All right. I'm contacting you and your company because I need help. I own the forest that was badly hit by the recent storm. Lots of our trees were knocked down. I've negotiated with a few sawmills to sell these logs quickly. I have a lot of people, but I don't know how to transport so many logs. Help me and we'll share the profit. All right. So he's going to give us $300 if we deliver a thousand logs from the forest near Leeds within 10 years. Um, that's this forest. <laughs> which just started existing. This was not even here before. I don't I don't think it was there. I think it just grew up here. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Um, so we could have a second train running from the forest to station four um, just to get this contract sorted, I suppose. Um, this complicates my life significantly. Man, oh man, I really didn't want this to happen. Um, but I might do it anyway. I might connect these lines and have this, uh, this train go here and deliver stuff instead. I could have it running, like, not on a, um, not on a full basis, just have it going back and forth. All right, let's do that. Why not? <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, the only thing is uh, this station, we won't be able to have a signal there. So no, that wouldn't work very well, would it? No. Um, it's interesting, though. It is interesting. I could have it going in this one, though. I could. I could have a separate track here. Yeah, let's build a separate. Let's 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 be entertained by this whole silliness here. We might need uh, possibly another one for coal, or coal could come in the other side of this one. That's another option. Okay, <laughs> this is so weird. Oh man, I I've I don't think I've ever seen a, an industry spawn itself, but th that's part of the game. So why not? Let's let's go with it. Uh, let's go with this too. Let's see. We need to have not that. We need to extend this to here. I think. Yeah. There we go. And we need to. Uh, what we could do is remove this piece of station and um, extend it one to this direction. That's another option we have. Let's do that. I think I think that's going to work well for us. Let's just extend this one. Oh, whoops. Can I not do that? Oh, too large. Oh, no. Does that mean I'd have to move the whole station over? It might. I think we're just going to go with this to be a short station so we can have our thing connected here. Because ideally, this should run on a separate line than this one because this is like a main production thing. I think that's that's kind of important. Yeah, I can't do this. I have to put the state signal there for that. All right, we're just going to have one train running on this thing. <laughs> Good deal. Right, engines. Let's go, Porter. Let's uh, get this one. And let's make you a Studinger. I should have just clicked the, the thing there. Mm, this is one. It's creating one thingy there. One log. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, we could go, we could even go with six, I guess. Uh, right. So orders, let's get you to go from, go to here. Okay. Click. There we go. I didn't click on the track. Go there and unload and then go to here. Um, we'll just click this track there and then go here because I don't want it to go back to any of these other places and then we're going to full load here and I think that should be fine it'll go back to one right go start I 
should get this quest. There we go, subsidy quest. Ooh, nice. We're almost at 100 of these lumber tokens. Okay, deliveries of coal, we're gonna get that going. We do need, however, to put some signals here because this is not great. Um, let's put this one here because this might go straight through if we need another uh, thing. Okay, that one should wait there. Good, good, good. We could put one here as well for now just to cut off this section from the rest of the block. Yeah, I think that's working. Okay, cool. That's <laughs> that's fun. It is very fun. That that's one cool thing about this is like you you come up with all kinds of combos of stuff uh, which end up being kind of cool. Uh, right. So let's let's get this um I want to get this thing underway to get the coal going. We're just going to ignore leads over here, I think and um, try to get this going instead. I'm gonna remove or make this shorter. Ba basically make it into a slope that we like. There we go. Now, how do we get this going? Now bridges, I believe they can also not be on the diagonal. They can only be straight. So I think go and make a bridge this way but we can cross diagonal tracks that is an option too all right I think what I'll, what we'll do is just cross this one here um, yeah that's a good idea I think we'll, we'll do that let me um, just illustrate what I'm talking about here the we want to have this bridge ish here I think Actually, not not that one we want this one it needs to be at least too high uh, what's nice about this game is that it, it shows you if the, the, um, the slope is too steep, it'll turn it into rocks, as you see here, like this. Um, and that's a good thing. Oh, you know what? It's too close. No, I need to move, move it to another square. Darn it. Um, but anyway, otherwise the slope will be grass, like this one. And that's how you can easily tell if your uh, train can go up a specific area or not. Okay, is that the same height? No. This, please. Yes. Nice. Okay. I want to just do... move this one down. I've noticed the time has gone by so fast. But I want to finish this one area. One and two. There we go. And this looks like this in the real world. We're building up this thing where we can have a nice little bridge here. I also want to extend this terrain this way to have a little nice kind of area here. Let's also move this so we can curve into that track quite beautifully. And oh my goodness, we have, aha, there we go. We can build this bridge um, this way, I think. There we go. Now we can choose several different types of bridges. We can do a wooden bridge, top speed of 60 miles an hour, and it costs us 60 money and 18 uh, wood tokens. Stone viaduct is top speed of 80 miles an hour. Personally, I'd rather spend the money than the wood because right now we just have a fledgling wood industry. Um, so I'd like to get that sorted. So let's get our, our stone bridge here. It is lovely. Uh, the details in this game are very, very pretty. Um, and if we, if this bothers us, like for example, this, oh, it's like, that should not be a viaduct. No, no, we can take it off without any penalty. And it doesn't, um, <laughs> like in Transport Tycoon, it would delete the entire bridge and they were very, very expensive. Um, but this game, it's very forgiving in that way. And I, I like that feature, I really do. Right, I want to um, bring up this because this cannot work there. We need to have a regular slope, a non-rocky slope, basically. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's take off one of these guys. and I just want to merge this in with this here. There we go. Perfect. Get our signals going here. And nice. Good, good, good. Now we'll get this connected here to that way. Fantastic. I love making these funky crossings like this. I have to admit, it's really entertaining for me um, having these overpasses so that we have the freedom of movement along the lines. Now this one, 
We need to figure out a way to get this. We could we could bring it down that way, actually. That might be working pretty well. Uh, let's just get our slopes correct here. Bring this over a little bit. I think that's actually fine. All right, let's go and go this way. Boom, yes. Okay, very cool. And we'll get our signals there. Just regular kind of like medium-sized blocks or whatever. Okay, and here's our coal station. All right, and to finish off, I think we should build a... Um... Dang, we have... The only problem with this that I'm seeing right now is that our depot does not quite connect to this line at all in any way. So we have a couple of choices. We could either route the train from the depot around um, and just do like a first time routing and then set it on its way because the trains do not actually need to go to the depots to get maintained or anything like that. They're not, that's not necessary. The depot is just for changing cars and changing engines. Um, so technically we could use this one. You know what? Let's just use it. Let's use this one. Go for our porter. Should we go for a porter? I think it's a small and uh, short enough route, but the porter is going to be fine. I don't want to waste my lumber tokens on that right now. Uh, as you can see, it has a greater horsepower and it goes faster, but the porter is just fine for this kind of duty. Um, right, so let's go and get our coal wagon. We have the Talbot or the Linz. Now, this is very tempting and it's a better weight when it's fully loaded. Um, but I think we're going to go for the money solution because right now we have more money and I want to spend these lumber tokens on our, um, on our passenger areas to build, uh, depot extensions. So let's get, um, one, two, three, four, five, six ish. <laughs> and let's get our train on the road to success here. Okay. So let's just teach it to go where we want it to go. Go this way, please. And then here. Okay, we'll start it off and then we'll let it go on its way and we'll delete waypoints one and two. And this one we want, remember, to go to the further. Nope, we don't want that one. Nope, nope, nope. Let's delete that one and go here instead. And then go to the station, please. And you're going to load up on coal. There we are. Then you're going to go this way and then you're going to go on the overpass. Can I? Nope, didn't click. There we go. All right. I'm going to go around this way and yay. I'm going to end up at the tool works where you're going to unload. Okay, so let's go there. Unloading. Then go this way, please. Go around here and you can end up at waypoint three. Now, where are you, little train? You're waiting. Oh, yeah, you're waiting on this train. Let's speed up the game a little bit here. That one's going to unload and hopefully we can just get out of here with the train. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, there it's going to go. Using the waypoints, we can now delete waypoints one and two. Because um, we don't ever want to go to those places again. Uh, the train will get confused. Wait. Okay, so this is one. This is two now. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Also, the, the other thing is, if you don't know where the waypoint is, you can just click on them and it will zoom to that location, which is another cool feature that we have here. So the, the, as you can see, the station is holding a maximum of 200 of each product. We can increase that with the extensions that we add on. Um, but for now, let's go and just watch this train go. Can we go? Okay, it automatically switches us to live mode. Oh, here we go, over the overpass. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> nice, and you can see the snow is on the ground. The trees have lost their leaves. Um, and it's looking pretty cool. Let's adjust the game speed. I go a little bit faster, why not? And we're going to empty our coal and drop it off at the, uh, the tool workstation. And we'll finally get some coal tokens. Oh, there's another train. Heading in. Nice. That's so funny that this forest sprung up right there. But it's nice because now we can um, we can fulfill that contract. Oh, here it is. Delivery of timber right here. He's a happy dude. Nice. And our coal is getting now delivered and we now have coal tokens. Yay. 
So yeah, our tool works is pretty busy. Now the next things for the next episodes, because we're gonna finish soon, is look at this. We have way too much lumber. We have way too much um, uh, planks. We have too much stuff. So I think we're gonna have to get possibly a second train here. Um, and upgrade our sawmill because right now it cannot keep up with our deliveries and production. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.